Hey there guys and ghouls, my name is Jet and I'd like to welcome you to my channel. In today's video, we are in the Plains of Eternity Isle in Disney's Dreamlight Valley where we are going to build this beautiful desert palace oasis. And if you are a user who has a 3000 item limit, this one is perfect for you. So go ahead and sit back and let's get started. But before we do, I would like to ask you to please hit that like, subscribe, and notification button as it does help me and my channel out a lot. I already laid out the path before starting to record this video, but this is the sun-baked path with the border. Um, as you can see here, I tested out the more natural stone, but I didn't like that gray texture and I wanted some warm colors with this build, so we went ahead and went with that earthen path. Also, you're going to see me here. I'm going to use a touch of magic to um, create some water at the center of our path. And you can see here quickly how I did that. But if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how, I do have a video for that that I can link in the description below. I use orange, yellow, and black and white flower rectangles to frame out our waterway here at the center. You can use any color theme you want to use, but as I said before, I wanted to go for those more rich and warm desert colors. As we've seen with a lot of my most recent builds, I wanted to keep this area pretty natural, but I also wanted to add in a bit of that desert elegance. So I went with these sand fountains, and then I'm also gonna add a couple of the small marble fountains at the center of our water, as well as some greenery to just complete the whole look. Once we have our centerpieces down, we are gonna use a mixture of the large and small dune trees, some cactus, and then we are going to use those tropical greenery clusters, which is where we get our item limit friendly build here. And we're just gonna go ahead and fill in all those natural and lush details. Next, I'm going to use a mixture of ferns, the ancient bamboo fence, some peaceful meadow greenery, and a couple of spiny dune trees to kind of fill in our entryway path area leading to that desert palace. I used four bamboo benches and a pair of the winterful wrought iron lights to go ahead and add a seating area here. I did try a couple of different type of lighting features to work here, but inevitably this is the one that fit best with spacing. As I do intend to turn the entire Glittering Dunes into a desert city, I wanted to create some visuals. And you will also notice that there are a lot of empty areas here. That's just because those will get filled as we move back. To my right here, we will end up having a desert um, market. We'll have an area with Eric's palace, but everything will lead to a visual of that palace that we had Jafar in. So I wanted to create kind of that skyline that you see in a lot of desert cities. So we're gonna use an ancient 
pillar here. You can make that as well as the um, sand fountains at your workbench. I absolutely love these bundles of stone and flowers and trees like this tropical beach greenery just because they are very very um what's the word lax i guess on your item limit but they make a huge impact so as you're going to see here i use four of these but it completely fills in that space and kind of finishes our area off In keeping with our color scheme, I went with a mix of red, orange, and yellow desert type flowers to complete this build. Also, I would like to let y'all know that I kind of went a little kooky and completely wiped out my entire valley. Like literally down to the grass, y'all. Everything is gone. So if there's anything that y'all want to see built, let me know as I would be very, very happy to make something for you. As we hit our final overhead and walkthrough, I would just like to give a huge shout out to my channel members. Your support of me and my channel mean the absolute world to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And, and if you have made it this far into the video, I would like to thank you for joining me today and to wish you the best day ever. Y'all remember to keep it spooky, but most importantly, keep it kind. And I will catch y'all on the next one. Bye guys.